from Genwell Financial Advisors. It's the fastest four minutes in investing. I'm Scott Inman with John Shrewsbury. As we record this, John, it is Inauguration Day. Yes. We have a new president. Joe yep. Biden has been sworn in as the 46th president of the United States. So we thought it'd be fun on today's Fastest Four to look back at a great LPL research chart that takes us back to 19. 19- Actually, it goes back to Inauguration Day 1897. So every president since 1897, and how did the markets do under each of those during their tenure? Obviously, some had shorter terms than others. Some were elected twice. Some, in Franklin Roosevelt's case, were elected more than twice. But we have a, a... a comparison here to see who did the best, who did the worst, and where Donald Trump lands, because I think this is good for perspective. It's oh, yeah. it's never as bad or as good as I think people think it is. And a lot of people, depending on your side of the aisle, think that, well, everything's going south now that Biden's in and Trump's out. And the reverse may be true if you're a Biden supporter. But let's take a look at these numbers. Yeah, and I was watching uh, President Trump as he was leaving the uh, White House in Washington, D.C. today, and he was talking about the best economy ever and everything. And I put a little asterisk on that because he actually did have the stock market at an 11.8 percent average rate of return on the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, during his tenure as president. But during the eight years of Barack Obama, he actually averaged 12.1%. And you wouldn't necessarily think that if you, uh, you know, just think about it empirically. But, but that, those are the numbers. Right. Uh, and, and it's really interesting to look back. And, and Bill Clinton, actually, uh, in modern era of time, uh, Bill Clinton actually had be- better performance during his tenure as president than anybody at 15.9%. Clinton outdid Ronald Reagan, who presided over uh, a great rebound in the American economy. Reagan had a uh, an average of 11.3%. And I say they had the average as much as a president has anything to do with what the stock market right. is doing. Uh, I think they tend to take credit when it's going up and, yes. and pass off, you know, any kind of responsibility when it's going down. But those are the numbers from LPL research. They presided over those returns. Now, you, you mentioned Clinton having the best of modern times he does, yes. but the best ever all the way back to 1897, Calvin Coolidge, Now, nobody would have probably guessed Calvin Coolidge, 25.5% during his tenure. However, that was from 1923 to 1929. So if I would have said the Roaring Twenties, people probably would have said, oh, yeah, the market did really well there. But you don't associate that with the president. And back to your point of they presided over great economic times or poor economic times. And then the entry points. You mentioned Barack Obama. We just had the financial crisis of 2008. The market bottom was March of 2009. It really had nowhere to go but up. That's right. Yeah. And and so a lot of this has to do with momentum of the market, our economic cycles and all that type of thing. But right. the presidents all like to raise their hand and say, hey, yes, that was my did. stock market that did that. It's also interesting to look at and one other aspect, one other perspective on this, Scott. If you measure from the day that a president is elected until Inauguration Day, how did the market perform during that period of time? Guess who, of all the presidents that have been elected, guess who has had the best performance from Election Day to Inauguration Day? You want me to guess, even though the chart's right in front of me? Well, it's Joe Biden. Yes, it happened. And, it just happened. And again, I think that owes to momentum in the market and the recovery that's been yeah. going on as a result of uh, the pandemic that happened and the and the downturn in the market back in March. And it has had a lot of momentum, and we are very, very hopeful that that momentum continues, regardless of whoever's president in the future. Yeah, for whatever the reason, uh, we go into 2021 with some serious optimism in in the economy and in the markets, and particularly the the, the vaccine continues to get distributed. Uh, Case counts eventually can go down. We may be looking at a really good year uh, in the markets and the economy in 2021. Some interesting trivia there, presidential trivia on this inauguration day. That's it for the fastest four. And the Get Ready for the Future show continues in a moment.